Good morning, Mrs. Williams. Good what brings morning, you to the credit union dear. this morning? Well, I received this check in the mail, and I want to deposit it in my account. The letter said that I won the lottery. Can I have the money today in my account? I can release the first $200 to your account today, Mrs. Williams. Okay, great. The letter said I have to wire the company the taxes and fees to claim the rest of the money. Mrs. Williams, did you actually enter a lottery? Not that I remember, but I barely can remember what I did this morning. <laughs> Mrs. Williams, if you don't mind, I'd like you to speak with our branch manager about this deposit. Oh, sure. Why? She's going to have to verify the funds for the deposit. Oh, that's okay. Thank you, honey. Good morning, Miss Williams. Good morning. You're a pretty girl. Well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. My name is Catherine. I'm the credit union manager. Kathy. I understand from my teller, Michael, that you have a check, a lottery check that you want to deposit and then have part of the funds wired to your account. Yes, 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 here it is. Well, Miss Williams, I'm looking at this check and I suspect it might be a fake. What do you mean with fake? I yes. have a letter that the, st uh, the letter states that I won the lottery. I understand. And that the letter comes with my name and my address, so I must have given it to them. Well, unfortunately, Miss Williams, too often scam artists take advantage of consumers like yourself by sending them a fake check for winning the lottery oh my God. when they haven't even played the lottery. The company then will ask you to wire part of the funds from your account to, to them for fees and other miscellaneous expenses. That's the taxes. They want me to send taxes. Yes, yes. They want you to, again, send these miscellaneous fees to them. That's then fake, after too. you wire this money to them, then the check is then returned on your account as fake. Oh, my gosh. Yes. This means that you, as the consumer, is then left with the debt from the money that was wired. And most of the time, you're unable to reclaim this money uh, that you've wired to the scam artist. Oh, my gosh. So you are saying... I would be giving away my, my own money? I'm sorry, yes, that's correct. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for catching that, dear. I would never have suspected I could have been a victim of a scam. I just thought I forgot that, that I entered the lottery. No that's problem, Miss Williams. That's too good to be true. I know, it's always too good to be true. But I'm glad we were able to catch this before any harm could be done. Thank you very much. Well, you're welcome. What you have just witnessed is an example of what happens to hundreds of thousands of older Americans who are abused, neglected, and exploited each year. Many victims are vulnerable and depend on others to meet their most basic needs. And abusers of older adults are both men and women and are not always strangers. Oftentimes they are family members, friends, caregivers, or trusted others. If you or someone you know has been a victim of financial abuse or a scam, you should contact your local law enforcement office, state attorney general's office, or adult protective services program. Remember, you do not need to prove that a crime has occurred. Leave that to the professionals. To learn more about protecting your finances, visit mycreditunion.gov and financial literacy microsite PocketSense. Under the senior section of PocketSense, you will find additional information and helpful links to other federal resources on scams targeting older adults. This video is brought to you by the National Credit Union Administration.